Pain assessment in critically ill patients is a challenging task. During intensive care unit admission, patients can experience pain during various stages of critical illness and different procedures. Self-reporting of pain is possible in non-ventilated patients, but it is difficult in ventilated patients. Various scales are available for pain assessment. In patients where self-reporting of pain is possible, a visual analog scale or numeric rating scale and a behavioral pain scale for non-intubated patients can be used. For patients who are unable to self-report, a behavioral pain scale and a critical care pain observation tool or CPOT should be used. Of note, vital signs should not be used as surrogates for pain assessment. The most common self-report method for pain assessments are numeric rating scales, typically from 0 to 10, with 0 representing no pain and 10 representing severe pain. A preferred scale for ICU patients who may not be able to verbalize, but are interactive, is the visual numeric pain rating scale, in which the scale is shown in large font, with no pain next to the number 0 on the left side of the scale and extreme pain next to the number 10 on the right side of the scale. The CPOT is used in patients who are intubated and cannot report pain. It includes assessment of facial expression, body movements, compliance with the ventilator which is replaced with vocalization for extubated patients, and muscle tension. This scoring system is on a scale from 0 to 8, with scores greater than 2 signifying an unacceptable level of pain that requires treatment. In the next slides we'll detail on the description of each indicator. The facial expression is one of the best behavioral indicators for pain assessment. A score of 0 is given when there is no muscle tension observable in the patient's face. A score of 1 consists of a tense face which is usually exhibited as frowning or brow lowering. A score of 2 refers to grimacing, which is a contraction of the full face including eyes tightly closed and contraction of the cheek muscles. On occasion, the patient may open his or her mouth, or if intubated, may bite the endotracheal tube. Any other change in facial expression should be described in the chart, and given a score of 1 if different from a relaxed or grimacing face. Body movement is the second indicator in CPOT. A score of 0 is given when a patient is not moving at all or remains in a normal position as per the nurse's clinical judgment. A score of 1 refers to protective movements, meaning that the patient performs slow and cautious movements, tries to reach or touch the pain site. A score of 2 is given when the patient is restless or agitated. In this case, the patient exhibits repetitive movements, tries to pull on tubes, tries to sit up in bed, or is not collaborative. Of note, body movements are the less specific behaviors in relation with pain, but are still important in the whole evaluation of the patient's pain. Compliance with the ventilator is used when the patient is mechanically ventilated. If the patient is not intubated then a vocalization indicator is used as it will be shown in the next slide. A score of zero refers to easy ventilation. The patient is not coughing nor activating the alarms. A score of 1 means that the patient may be coughing or activating the alarms but this stops spontaneously without the nurse having to intervene. A score of 2 is given when the patient is fighting the ventilator. In this case, the patient may be coughing and activating the alarms, and an asynchrony may be observed. As indicated in the previous slide, vocalization is used in non-intubated patients who are able to vocalize. A score of zero refers to the absence of sound or to the patient talking in a normal tone. A score of one is given when the patient is sighing or moaning, and a score of two when the patient is crying out or sobbing. Lastly, muscle tension is evaluated by performing a passive flexion and extension of the patient's arm when the patient is at rest. During turning, the nurse can easily feel the patient's resistance when she is participating in the procedure. A score of zero is given when no resistance is felt during the passive movements or the turning procedure. A score of one refers to resistance during movements or turning. In other words, the patient is tense or rigid. A score of two consists of strong resistance. In such cases, the nurse may be unable to complete passive movements or the patient will resist against the movement during turning. The patient may also clench his or her fists. In summary, Clinicians should assess critically ill patients for their level of pain regularly, using self-report if possible. Pain should be reassessed every two to three hours and more frequently before painful procedures or mobilization. 
Numeric rating scale should be used in patients who can communicate. If the patient cannot communicate, then one should use validated behavioral pain scales such as CPOT. Pain should be addressed with non-pharmacological methods or with medications if NRS is more than 3, or if CPOT more than 2. In the next step, we will discuss management of pain in the ICU. Thank you.